Hello, welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today we're going to be talking all about faux lemons. I'm going to teach you how to make all things lemon. Actually, I'm going to show you how to make ice cream sundaes and different types of accessories, everything in 20 minutes. So stick with me. And if you'd like to become a member, please subscribe, hit a like and share this out where you can. Now, let's have some fun. In order to make faux food and accessories, there's a lot of different things that you can do and a lot of different products that you can use. So I'm going to show you the pros and cons with each different type. And we can learn together how to make things like how to make faux cupcakes. Isn't that cute? Oh, how I love faux cupcakes. Just making little lemon slices. And these are hard and you can just attach them right to whatever you're working on. There's all different types of lemon treats that you can make. Even little ice cream sundaes. Look how tiny that one is. Or if you want to make larger ones, I've got the bigger ones right here. So stick with me. It's gonna be a fun day. Okay, I'm gonna start off with making my own whipped cream. Faux whipped cream, of course. And what we're gonna need for this is cornstarch and hair conditioner. I picked up this hair conditioner at the dollar store and I definitely need white because I'm trying to have it look like whipped cream. And I would suggest that you pick a kind that you don't mind the smell because until it's completely dry, you will still smell it. And so I picked coconut because I love the smell of coconut. So we're going to mix in three quarters of a cup of cornstarch and a half a cup of hair conditioner. And this is the consistency that we need for whipped cream. And once you pipe it out onto your different decorations, it will dry in about 6-12 hours and it'll dry completely. Now there's also different types of dough at the Dollar Tree that you can use for your filler. And I used, I got a package of yellow dough because I was using so much yellow. Um, and that's pretty much what you want to have when it's going to be tucked in somewhere where you don't see it because it does when it dries it can tend to crack so that one's not my favorite but it can be used in a pinch then after it dries it dries completely um, dry <laughs> okay so here's a little k a little pie that i made and i'm just going to go ahead and pipe out some whipped cream over the top Okay, now another thing that you can use is Mo Model Magic. And I have only seen this at the dollar store one time so far. And I just, I always look at it and think, oh, that seems like that's a lot of money. I don't know if it's worth it, but I decided today I'm gonna try it and see if I like it. So I went ahead and just got the only one that was actually in the dollar store. I have since found out that they do, you can get this on Amazon. And so I'll put a link below if you can't find it at the Dollar Tree, but I, you can also use like the Dollar Tree clay. But for this, we're gonna use the, the molding clay. And the nice thing about this is it air dries. You don't have to use anything to have it harden. It will air dry on its own in about, you know, just overnight, it'll dry. So I got white, that's all they had. And then I use food color to color um, the mold. Now, if it starts to get too tacky because of the food color, you can add a little cornstarch. But let's go ahead and make a lemon. So you just roll it in a ball and then pinch the ends out a little bit. And that's how you make a little tiny lemon. And they dry hard and they can withstand a lot once they're completely dry. So I love making lemons. Now, whatever dough you're not using, put that modeling clay in a zip, zip, Ziploc bag because it will dry out pretty fast. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to make a lemon slice. Now you can do this with lemon, limes, orange, just depending on what color you do. So I just mold it into the shape of a slice and then I roll out some white clay and just keep on making it thinner and thinner and thinner into a snake-like pattern. And then we'll just 
pinch off or cut off little pieces to put into our lemon slice so that it looks like a real lemon slice. Now I use the back side of an X-Acto knife to cut that so it doesn't put any cut marks on my table. And then just keep on pinching it and maneuvering it until there is white on both sides of the lemon. And that's all it takes to make a lemon slice. And I love this. You can make them all different sizes. I use these on gnomes, so I want them to be quite small, but you could make them bigger. Whatever works for you. I use the same process as I go along. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make some lemon cookies. Again, I want these to be little tiny trays, so they're really small cookies. And I like to put a little white on the top to look like frosting, and then put some sprinkles on top. You can use real sprinkles, or you can use little tiny, the little tiny beads that are at the Dollar Tree. Those work fine too for little sprinkles. And I just push those on, set that aside, and that will dry quickly. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a cupcake. You get the little tiny cupcake liners and I like to use a styrofoam ball so I'm not using up all my clay. So I'm just going to mold the, a piece, a little tiny bit of it, all the way around my styrofoam ball. And just go ahead and keep it round and put it in your cupcake liner. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make it different colors depending on what you want. Now this one, I want it to look lemon, so I just added a little bit of black so it would be a darker color, maybe kind of like a spice cake. And sometimes when you are adding the food coloring, it'll get a little sticky, so you can either add, add some cornstarch or just grease your hands with some sort of Crisco or grease. And then just dollop the faux whipped cream on the top, and there we go. Look how easy that is so fast so easy and you just add some sprinkles and your cupcake is done and these will dry very quick very easy it's got to be one of the fastest easiest faux treats you can ever make isn't it cute love it okay now i'm going to show you how i make my pie crust now i whenever i'm fo forming the pie pans I use something to mold around and I'll show you that in just a minute but for the pie crust I do the same thing I make a snake put it into a circle and then just pinch the edges forward and back forward and back forward and back all the way around so that it looks beveled and that's all there is to it to making a pie crust and I don't put the crust all the way on the bottom because we're not really eating this pie <laughs> don't want to waste it and again I can use that yellow dough in the center and you might want to add just a little bit of hardening agent something fixident or something like that or it can take a little while to dry okay now let me show you a rolling pin see this same snake like pattern that we do to roll things out then add a couple of balls on the end and pinch them together and we have a nice rolling pin now the one thing that i'll say about the um modeling clay is it's very easy to work with and when you pinch it together it still sticks so it will hold together so that is really nice now i have this ring that was left over from a scarf that i bought from the dollar tree and i got a couple of strings from my weed eater because i wanted to make a grill and i thought the weed eater strings looked like the center of a grill so i'm just going to use this ring that was left over from my dollar tree scarf and glue a few of these little strings onto it. Now I'm using hot glue to glue it into place and I've got my little spatula to hold it in place, but I don't want hot glue to show up, so it's just a little bit of hot glue. And then I'll spray it down so it looks silver and there's my grate for my grill. Now I'm gonna take some of my, I'm gonna use the other type of clay and I'm gonna show you the difference between the two types of clay. This is the other kind, and in order for this clay to dry, you really need to put in four amounts of fixident. You have to put fixident in, work it, knead it in, and then do it four times. Because that clay, I've had it out for almost a year, and it still never dries. It just doesn't dry. It doesn't harden. 
So if you want it to be hardened, you need to add Fix-A-Dent. And you can pick up Fix-A-Dent from the dollar store or the really powdery dry kind you can get from Walmart. And I'll put links below. And I just mold that around one of my little containers that I grabbed out of the trash. I There's so many different things. When I'm doing crafts, I keep like a craft trash so that I can get things out of there to use for molds. So I'm going to take my dowels and cut them down for my legs of my Weber grill. And you can either paint the legs or use a black marker, which is what I did. And then we're going to make some little hamburger patties. And I'm just using the brown clay and I just added a tiny little bit of fix it in to the ground clay, brown clay to make some little burgers. And then again, using some orange clay. Now the nice thing that I like about using clay here instead of the molding um, is there's so many different bright colors already made. So I'm not having to mix colors. And so that's why I like to keep both on hand. Now I'm using the back side of the X-Acto knife to cut the orange so that it looks like a slice of cheese. And look at that. Now, when I put them on the grate, they still want to kind of move around and fall around and I just don't want them to fall off. So I took some super glue after I've got it all completely together and just put a dollop of super glue over the very top to seal it to the burgers to the grill. And then I'm using hot glue to glue my legs on and that's how I make a Weber grill. And this kind of glue, which is like an adhesive super glue, also from the Dollar Tree, is another type of glue that I like to use. Now there's different glues for different types of things. Now I like this one for gluing the grate on because it's thicker, so it's not dripping down, so it'll stay in place better. Now I don't want to use hot glue because it will melt the clay. So I'm using this super glue here to hold it in place and I know that this grate's just going to sit up there so it has plenty of time to just sit and dry. So now that I've got my little Weber grill put together, I'll just set that aside and let it dry. Isn't it cute? I just love it. Okay, we'll set that aside. And next, let's work a little bit more with this molding clay. Now this is handy. I'm going to show you the difference between the clay that I had to put fix a dent in, and then this molding clay. I'm gonna add some black food coloring, and in order to get it as black as I wanted, it became really pretty sticky. So, if you're not buying the molding clay already pre-colored, you may want to have some cornstarch on hand so that you can get the stickiness out of it, and it can still be movable you can move it around. But I will say I like working with the molding clay better than the other type of clay. It's a lot easier to mold it and move it around. So it is definitely my second favorite other than you have to color it. But it is very easy to maneuver. So I just move this around and this is going to be a little pie, pie tin. And then, now that I've got my black all made and ready, I'm just gonna go ahead and mold out all kinds of different little fun things. This one, I'm making a little dish in order to make a tiny little sundae. And I've got a milk chocolate ice cream, then a strawberry ice cream, and some Cool Whip on top. Now I'm gonna use a little tiny dab of red clay to make a cherry and put a little black stem on top and that will be on the top of this cute little sundae, ice cream sundae. Okay, now I'm going to set that aside and we'll just keep going. Now one thing that I find is I will just keep on doing things with whatever I've already made. So since I still have whipped cream left over, even though I've got my projects done, I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of wax paper out and put some dollops out. And when those dry, I can add those on top of things very easily. And with the rest of what was left of my whipped cream, I added extra cornstarch. I just kept on kneading in more and more cornstarch until it was the same consistency as my molding clay. And then I can do exactly what I did with the other clay. And here's a, here's a little tip. 
it's the easiest of all to work with. Okay, now we're gonna try another technique. This is for ice cream. And you can get spackling from the Dollar Tree. Sometimes it's sold out. So this particular one I had to get from Walmart because it's been sold out of my Dollar Tree. But we're gonna use a little mini ice cream scoop. This is actually a scoop for doing little mini cookies. And you just scoop it out, put it in a little tray, and this is pink right now, but this putty dries white. So it's pink until it dries and then it's white. So you just scoop out and make yourself some ice cream scoops. And as soon as it dries, it looks so authentic, like real scoops of ice cream. It's so great and so fast and so easy. Now, I'm going to make a bigger uh, milkshake sundae kind of thing. And I don't want to use up all my putty. So I'm actually going to use a few styrofoam balls and just line them a little bit with some putty so it will look like a scoop of ice cream in the bottom of my cup and then i can scoop some ice cream on top and i always try not to waste anything and here we go just a few scoops of ice cream now because this is pretty thick this will take probably you know a good 24 hours to completely dry but once it's completely dry it'll be pure white so here it is after about six hours of drying. Now I'm gonna use some Elmer's glue and put some glue down in through the sides so that it just looks like the ice cream is starting to melt a little bit. Now I'm gonna use some Elmer's glue and some cocoa powder, mix that together in order to make some brown and I want it to look like chocolate. I can drizzle over the top. Now, I didn't have any just straight cocoa powder. I just have a hot chocolate mix, and it had it has milk in it, too. So it was, it was a little bit lighter colored than I would have liked. So I went ahead and added a little bit of black um, paint into it so that it would look more like the chocolate color that I wanted. And I want it to drizzle, so I added some water so it would be a little bit looser. And then just drizzle it across the top top now you can put these into a container similar to what my glue is in if you want to really have control over it but i just wanted it for two ice cream cones so i didn't want to have to put it into a container so there it is with my chocolate drizzled across the top and then once again i'm adding real sprinkles and it is also okay to use little tiny beads so i'm going to drizzle some more chocolate over this ice cream add some sprinkles and look how great that is looking it is so great and when that glue dries it's going to look just like chocolate now i still have some of those little dollops that i previously made that are drying out so i'm going to add some glue to those so that they will stay on because since they are completely dried already and there you have it little ice cream sundaes I think that is so much fun. Now, I have a spoon that I made previously, and I'm going to go ahead and add a straw to this one. It looks more like a milkshake with some ice cream. Now, there you have it. Our faux lemon foods and accessories. Isn't that fun? Now that you're a master of how to make faux cupcakes, and other types of foods, you can make all different types of accessories and fabulous things. Anything you can think of, you can make it with the products that I showed you how to use today. My next video is going to be showing how to make really cute flip-flops, feet for a gnome with polished toenails. Yes, it's going to be so much fun. But if you'd like to see more videos like this, click this one right here or this one right here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.